Hey what's up guys this is Wasi and welcome to my another brand new After Effects tutorial. Today we are create a very exciting tutorial so let's see what we will create today. This video is sponsored by videoblogs.com. Videoblogs has one of the fastest growing largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, after effects and motion backgrounds. This includes the only contributor marketplace that gives 100% of the commission back to the artist. Click the link in the description box below to start downloading and get 7 days of Videoblogs for free. And all of these clips come with a royalty free agreement so you can't get it with copyright claims we are giving away 7 days of video blocks so you can try it out and get access to this massive video library and royalty free license for free ok so let's get started open after effects and create a new composition go to composition new composition and let's call it main comp and i am going with 1920 by 1080p frame rate 30 and duration make it 10 seconds then click on ok ok let's start with adding a background i am using an uh, motion background you can download this clip from videoblogs.com link in the description so please check this out ok now select this video clip and place it in your timeline now you can see that this video clip is very bright to reduce the brightness of this clip select this video clip and then go to effect color correction and choose curves then change the RGB curves to something like this. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for mirror. Then select the effect and apply onto this video clip to make this video clip more better. Now decrease the X amount maybe 960. Now it's look nice to me. Ok let's add our logo, you can also use text if you want, the process is the same for both logo and text. Now select the logo and place it in your timeline, then press S and make it little bit smaller. Then select the logo and right click, choose pre compose and select move all the attributes and rename it to metal logo and then click on ok. Now go to effect and preset window and search for gradient ramp. Then select the effect and apply onto this metal logo layer. Then change the start color to white and end color to black. Again go to effect and preset window and search for bevel alpha. Then select the effect and apply onto this metal logo layer. Then edge thickness set it 4 and light intensity set it 0 0.90 again go to effect and preset window and search for cc light swipe then select the effect and apply onto this layer now put this point to the center of the logo like this Ok now play with some settings. Direction set it 63 degree, width set it 80 and swipe intensity set it 70. Now you can see a nice metal effect. Ok now add another CC light swipe effect onto this layer. Now go to around 3 seconds, then set a keyframe on center, now go to around 5 seconds, then select this point and move it like this. Now you can see a nice reflection effect. Now change the width amount to 30 and swipe intensity set it 52. Now it's look nice. 
Now select this layer and press U to open keyframes. Then select these two keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Now press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the layer. Then click on this arrow icon then select effect and press delete on your keyboard. Now press enter and rename it to stroke. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for vegas. Then select this effect and apply onto this stroke layer. Now click on this box to see the changes only in this layer. Ok now change the blend mode to transparent and change the color to white. You are free to choose your own color. Then segment set it 1 and click on random face. Then width set it 3. Then uh, midpoint opacity set it minus 0.400. Then hold down alt and click on rotation stopwatch. Then type expression time into 150. Then click on enter. Now we can see our stroke is automatically animated. Ok now go to around 2 seconds and set a keyframe on start opacity. Then go to around 3 seconds and start opacity set it 0. Ok now go to effect and preset window and search for CC radial first blur. Then select the effect and apply onto our stroke layer. Then change the zoom to brightest, sorry, and amount set it 70. Again go to effect and preset window and search for glow. Select the effect and apply onto our stroke layer. Now click on this box to see all layers. Ok now select all layers and press T to open opacity. Then go to beginning of this animation and set a keyframe on opacity and make it 0. Then go to around 1 and half seconds and opacity set it 100. Then go to around 7 seconds and set another keyframe on opacity. Then go to around 8 seconds and opacity set it 0. Now select all keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Now select this second keyframe and move it like this. Then select these two keyframes and move it forward like this. Ok now ramp preview this. Wow it's look nice to me. Ok now select stroke layer and press ctrl plus d to duplicate the layer then press enter and rename it to original logo ok now click on this arrow icon and then select effect and press delete on your keyboard now select this layer and put it below the metal logo then press t to open opacity and select all keyframes and press delete then go to around 6 seconds and set a keyframe on opacity and make it 0 and then go to around 7 seconds and opacity set it 100% then select these two keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease perfect ok now we are create a text layer so right click here then new and click on text then type your text here. Now select the text and drag it down. 
and I am using Elite Danger Semi Bold font. You can download this font from link in the description. Okay, now make it little bit smaller and increase the spacing between characters and make it center. Okay, now go to effect and preset window and search for fade up character. Then select the script and apply onto our text layer. Then press U to open keyframes. Then select these two keyframes and drag it like this. And press F9 to make them easy. -ease. Then select the last keyframe and drag it something like this. Now you can see our text is automatically animated. Okay, now select these layers and make it 3D layer. If you don't see the switch tab, then simply click here. Okay, now create a null object. So right click new and click on null object. Now make this layer 3D. Then select these layers and parent it to the null one. If you don't see the parent option, then simply right click then column and choose parent. Okay, now select the null layer and go to beginning of this animation and press P to open position and set a keyframe on position and decrease the Z amount very high. Then go to around 2 seconds and Z amount set it 0. Then go to end of this animation and increase the Z amount little bit. Now select all keyframes and press F9 to make them easy ease. Then open graph editor and change the graph curve to something like this. Now switch back to timeline and ramp preview this and you can see a nice animation ok now create a new solid layer so right click new and click on solid then make it black and rename it to mask then click on ok now select the mask layer and then go to toolbar and select rectangle tool and double click on it then double click on max path and hold down alt control and drag it then change the max mode to subtract wow it's look really nice okay let's add background music you can download this from link in the description okay now select the audio layer and place it anywhere in your timeline ramp view this and your animation is ready i will see you on next week thanks for watching this tutorial have a nice day